Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Today's video is going to be how to create multiple websites on the same Raspberry Pi using LXD. I'm going to show you how to assign them each a host name using your Pi-hole server and how to actually have only one IP address targeted that serves up all of those different web pages when you enter the right domain name. If you actually wanted to deploy this in the wild, you would only have to point your DNS server to one address inside of your network. And you could have multiple web pages display on the outside on port 80. So with that, let's get on with the tutorial. Let's start by creating the container for the first web page. To do that, we're going to enter sudo -i because this is a Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to enter lxc launch the operating system or container name Ubuntu a colon and our version number. Then our container name we're just going to call it web1. Now I'm going to add a dash dash target and I'm going to specify the Raspberry Pi we're working on. So if you don't have a cluster, you don't need to do this. But since I have a cluster, it'll distribute all created containers across the cluster. So we wouldn't be actually working on the same Raspberry Pi. It's not super important. The techniques are all the same if you wanted to use just one Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to put them all on the same Raspberry Pi. Now we can press enter and we see I made a typo. We are case sensitive. All right, now we can use sudo dash I LXC EXEC web1 or your container name and bash for the interface style. That'll enter the container that we just created. And as always, we probably want to update the repositories. apt update. So now we can install nginx. We're going to use nginx throughout this video. But there was only one real important step where we'll need to use Nginx to follow all the steps. When you're creating your web servers, as we are right now, you can use Apache, Candy, Nginx, or whatever you like. You could even point it to like LXD Wares, LXD Dashboard, or Pi-hole, whatever. It doesn't matter when you set up your reverse proxy where you target it it's still going to serve up the web page according to the domain name. But more on that in a minute. Let's install Nginx. apt install nginx and dash y for yes. So now we can type exit to go back to our Raspberry Pi and since I wanted to find the IP address of the container, I'm just going to enter sudo dash i lxc list. And we can see web1 has an IP address of 10.10.255. So now let's make a second web page. To do that, we're going to enter the same command we did before. I'm going to change this to 2. So Again, if you miss that command, it's sudo dash i lxc launch image name Ubuntu 2104 in our case, the container name web2, and then we're going to specify a target. If you're not working on a cluster where there's multiple systems, you don't have to worry about the target. It'll just place them all on the single system. But to prove to you that it can all be done on one system, one Raspberry Pi 3 to be exact, I'm going to put them all on the same system. I'm using target. So 
So while I was creating that container, I actually decided I wasn't going to use Nginx for both web pages, just simply because I want to use the default pages and not make edits, and I want you to be able to distinguish between the two. So with that, let's enter the container and begin working with it. Again, the command to enter the container is sudo dash i exec container name and bash. And remember your LXC. Run an apt update. So these are really basic web servers that we're creating today. But this technique for the reverse proxy will work with any web server. So you can install PHP or any other service that you need and really create your own container however you want it for your web page. The nice thing by containing it all in a container is everything is easy to back up, maintain, and keep separate. You can even very easily migrate it to other LXD systems that have a similar configuration. And it's actually easy inside of the LXC or LXD configuration file to modify a few things about your container so it'll run even if this server doesn't have the exact same configuration. Makes backing up, managing, and selling websites or transferring websites very easy. So back to the installation process. Let's install Apache, apt, install. Apache 2 dash y let's exit so we can see the IP addresses of our containers you're probably going to want to actually set a static IP address for each container that way when we target the reverse proxy to the container it never changes there's many different ways to do this, depending on the image that you're using. So I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. Ubuntu being a big one is easily findable on the web how to do that. Or if you want to see a video about how to set up a static IP address for Ubuntu, drop a comment below. I'll probably do one. Let's make sure our web server is working for both of these containers that we created. Good point right now. Consider checking out Virtualize Everything's web store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. Here's an example of one of our shirts that we have that's available in many different colors. This whole operation is run by Teespring, so it's backed by a large company, and you're going to get the product you order. Consider checking it out. Let's go off and check out these websites that we created. The first one is going to be at 1010 55 and there's nginx all right the second one is going to be at 10 10 2 43 there's apache so we have two working websites well now if we wanted to get to each one of them we could actually log into pihole and configure it but what if we wanted one ip address for all of them for the sake of using an outside dns server like godaddy and not having to have multiple ports or anything else configured, which in the case of GoDaddy, you can't do. Let's look at how to set up the reverse proxy now. We're going to use Nginx to do that. So let's go back to our Raspberry Pi cluster and start setting up our reverse proxy. All right. So to do that, we're going to create another container. You don't really have to run Nginx reverse proxy in another container. You can run it on the same container, but it does make things easier for backup, migration, and other things to have it separate. Let's go ahead and make another container, just as we did before. This time, we're going to call the container proxy. Alrighty, so our container is created. Now, let's log into it again. We're going to use the same exec container name bash command that we've used the last two times. 
update the repositories. Install in GNX, just as we did before. But now this time, we're going to do some additional configuration. We're going to create a file using nano at etc nginx dash sites dash available slash our website name dot conf and server name is going to be our domain name for this and we're just going to call this web one dot and for our address, it's going to be http colon slash slash 10 10 to 55. And we don't need to support, specify a port because we're using port 80. So we can go ahead, press control X and Y to save. Then we can go ahead and move this to sites enabled with ln-s, the path that we made the file at, making sure to have the right configuration file that you set up. Then we're going to add slash etc slash nginx slash sites enabled slash. And let's repeat the same process to make a configuration file for the next website. Now let's run a GINX dash T to check everything out. Test was successful. So let's run a system CTL restart NGINX to restart NGINX so our new configurations take effect. And we can actually now exit this container if we want to return back to our Raspberry Pi. Then we can run sudo i lxc list to view the container's IP address. Again, you most likely want to make that IP address static. But for the sake of this video, I've left them dynamic, so I need to find out what they are. So with that, so now that we know the IP address of our proxy container, we can go ahead and open up our Pi hole. I've pre-configured or pre-logged into my Pi hole installation, but you know how to do that already if you're using Pi hole. If not, there's some great tutorials on that. I've even made a few. So let's go to local DNS and DNS records. And let's enter web1.lan and the IP address that points at the IP address that points at the container we set up as the reverse proxy. My case, 1010.2.92. And we hit add. Then we're going to make a web2.lint and target the same IP address. Press add. All right. So with that set up, we should be able to enter HTTP colon slash slash web1.lint. And continue. And there's NGINX. So let's test out Web2. And there's your Apache. So you did notice that we are passing to HTTPS. So if you wanted to get rid of that screen, you just need to install your SSL significates using something like Let's Encrypt. 
We can do that in a future video if you so choose. Or there's a lot of great ones already on YouTube about that process. If you need me to create one, drop a comment below. I'll gladly do so. That's today's video on setting up a reverse proxy and setting up multiple websites on a single Raspberry Pi using Nginx and LXD. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to continue receiving great content from Virtualize Everything. As always, have a good night.